All right, good morning. This is Mike Torino. I'm back. This is the uh, final episode from the playlist building in, in the Philippines, uh, the construction of our garage here. Today is May 21st. And uh, like I said, this is going to be episode 29. What I'm going to show you today is the wrap up and I'm going to be focusing on the doors and windows that we had installed and uh, because I'm, I'm going to say that you know after you have windows and doors on your construction you're done right everything after that is going to be icing on the cake and home improvements and I just didn't want to you know, end up with episode 190 uh, just no need for that if I make more videos uh, on small projects to, that'll just be their individual small project make it easier to keep track of so so this is episode 29 but there's one more there's going to be episode 30 which I know you'll like everybody likes time lapse and so episode 30 is just going to solely be time lapse um, video all the way from November 17th through the final pour of the flooring. So that should be fun to watch. So stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm, I'm gonna hit the highlights on our doors and windows, which I think are pretty cool. And I'll start with the stainless steel doors that, that we had custom made for the CRs. They're the same for this upstairs CR as well as the downstairs bathroom. And the guys that did our railings that you see behind me uh, are the same ones that made these, these doors. So let's take a look at what we have here. We've got a full length barn door and I found the, the sliding door, the barn door attachment you know, on Lazada and I gave it to those guys and they came up with this really cool design it's all stainless steel and got the barn door rollers on top and also uh, a keeper or a stay or a rolling stay on the bottom of the door to keep it from flapping but I love it I mean check this out You got rubber stoppers up there and a rubber stopper on this end and we can lock it we keep this locked up upstairs here on the roof and then as you go in you you know you can have privacy to to lock this door as well from the inside and it's all stainless steel so and this is the real deal stainless steel that's not going to rust there's no mixed alloy here of of iron or steel that's going to start rusting uh, i know i said we're just going to talk about doors and windows but i forgot we had uh another guy um, that came in and made these Remember this sink used to just be a stand-up sink, you know, with nothing around it. But these guys came in and made some aluminum enclosures for the sink. See how this sink used to be. And <laughs> we just told them what we wanted and, and no kidding, like in 24 hours they were back. And they installed this quick and dirty and a hundred dollars for both fifty dollars for upstairs and fifty dollars for downstairs and it can't beat it it's not fancy but it's aluminum it's not going to rust and you get all kinds of countertop space and all kinds of space inside so where are you going to get counters like that for 50 bucks i'm loving it the the fitment on this door, I don't have the key with me now, but once you 
lock it from the outside. It's just perfectly snug. Love it. So let's take a walk downstairs and I will show you what we've done to the front door. Okay, I'm back downstairs and I, I know you've probably seen the garage doors already. So I'll just hit the highlights on the garage doors. These are roll-up doors. And uh, so that's nothing fancy there. There's nothing behind there. It's just the door itself. And we have uh, windows installed behind this roll-up door. They just put this one in yesterday for the window. So I have to unlock that so you could see the glass window that we have behind here. But here is our installation of the front door. And you'll, you'll notice the patina. It's not painted and it's rusting, which is the way I want it. Uh, what we have on the outside here is a screen door and this is this is steel and it's lockable from the outside and so we can use this screen if it's when it's cool enough outside to just have that and leave the main door open but again on we have the roll-up door for security that can come down over both of these doors when we want to. So, but the main door here, this is this is all steel. This is the way I wanted it. I showed them pictures of what we wanted. And uh, again, the patina is unpainted and, and rusty. Um, I found this you know, uh, somewhere online and, and I liked it with the, the exposed rivets. This gigantic handle here. This door's got to be, you know, it's almost eight feet. I think it is eight feet tall, and it weighs about 300 pounds. But I ordered the the lock set from for here from Amazon. It's a company called Mega Handles, I think, and got a deadbolt and your steel handle. So when I open it, I use striking a candle here to open the door and it's really got some heft to it like I said it weighs about 300 pounds it took like four or five guys just just to install this but here's the reverse side of the door and we added a little handle here to, to take a I didn't want too much pressure constantly on this opening handle so we have this but on this side, we've got that patina again. And the, they're not really rivets. They're, they look like rivets on the outside, but these are just through bolts. And I think I'm gonna hit these bolts with some uh, rust converter. It's not rust destroyer, but what it will do to a untreated or something that's not rusting will kind of make it black. So I'm gonna see what, what I can do with that or maybe some hydrochloric acid will make these you know, turn to the patina that I want. And the plan for this door, you know, anything that's exposed iron or steel, uh, after the patina gets to where I want it, what I gather from you know, some research is that people use boiled linseed oil to put it, wash it first and then treat it with boiled linseed oil to stop the corrosion and the oxidation, but you'll maintain the patina that I like. So when I open this door, we have the screen with a little handle and I don't have a latch here for, for the inside, but what I plan to, do, to use is a, I have a big magnet that I'm gonna affix in a couple places here so the screen door can be kind of latched with a magnet rather than fiddling with any kind of additional hardware. 
so that is our main door. Now we can go take a look at the downstairs CR. And it is a duplicate of what we saw upstairs, but I'll show you again. This is the stainless steel barn door downstairs. And here, here's the one with I could show you how the the key worked with that. Look how snug it is. Did a great job. I like it. And another quick look in here. This is the duplicate counter that you saw upstairs and you can see I'm already starting to use it to put in all kind of toiletries and more storage down there again $50 so gotta love that starting to put some decorations up in the garage up in the uh, walls slowly here All of the, the roll-up doors have uh, a central sliding lock um, for convenience and then for extra security if you're not going to be around. There's two points on each door where you can put a lock, uh, padlock through. So that is the covering for the the windows and this is the window assembly that we chose each of these squares uh, on the, the four bottom ones tilt out like a, I think that might be a kind of a well, I forget what they call it but they they fold the angle out and then the two one two panels at the top are static and you can't see in during the day but at night you can see in so I rigged up a little um, curtain on the inside until we get something more permanent so let's go on the inside and I'll show you what it looks like from there this is the view looking from the inside out for the window and so these four panels can be opened like this And I, I like this setup here, especially even though we're under an overhang, if we had some hard rains, you could still, if you still wanted to get some air and breeze in here, you could open these windows like that. And then they lock. And again, if we ever want to go and leave for whatever, an extended period of time, I just pull down the, the uh, roll up door on the window and the main door for added security. And the last window we have, you probably saw this before, this is glass block. And I don't, I don't want to ruin the, the look of it by putting a grate, if you're familiar with the Philippines, they're, they're historically, they use exterior grating over all their windows and uh, I don't believe it's really ever added to security, but it certainly detracts from appearance. So I'm debating on what to do with this glass block. I may, you know, in keeping with my patina, you know, old school patina and iron and steel, I may create some maybe four two down and two across of uh, steel strapping and have it have it bend in go across bend up and then bolt it to the concrete wall and the kind of strapping that I'm thinking about is if you've seen those old movies um, like kind of Monte Cristo it would be like the, the jail cell type that that they used but, you know, I think that'd look pretty cool too. Okay, 
And that is it. That's doors, windows, and cabinets. This project is finished. From now on, it's just going to be improvements. And if you look behind me, you're going to see some things you haven't saw yet. The garage continues to evolve into the shouse that it, that it is. And stay tuned for more projects. And make sure you watch the episode 30, which is the complete time lapse from breaking ground all the way through to what you see here. So I think it'll be pretty cool to watch. Thanks for watching. See y'all later.